Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a crack in a dryer drum. Now this is a Whirlpool dryer. You can see here there's a little crack right here. It's about six inches long. Then we've got another little crack right over here on this side that's about a three inch long crack. There's a little bit of a hole here as well so that can cause a problem. Now the reason this causes a problem is because a clothing could get caught on this and then rip and then you would have damaged clothing so that wouldn't be good for your dress shirts. Also, more importantly, is that lint from inside the dryer can seep through this crack over time and get into the back of the dryer area and down below where they have the electrical and the heating element and things like that. If a lot of lint builds up over there over time, Lint is very flammable, and so if there is a, a lot of lint on top of the heating element, it could cause a fire. So that is a big problem. All right, so how are we going to fix this? Well, a very simple solution and an easy way is to use some JB Weld. JB Weld is an excellent way to fix things uh, for any type of metal and this in this case for heat so this particular this is regular JB weld it can withstand 550 degrees Fahrenheit when cured and strength of 3960 PSI so it's real awesome it's it's a great product you can use um, I've got it here to get started just crack this open and then you can see it's kind of oozing out so you want to get a little container and then you squeeze however much you think you're going to use in this case we've got quite a bit of a crack I'm going to use about the whole thing so we'll just that's going to be more than enough but we'll use the whole thing there and then use this little stick and mix it up Now this is black and white. Black and white makes gray, so it will dry to a gray. Let's get this mixed up here. When you're applying it now, you want to apply it evenly. And we are on the back of the dryer. So we've taken the dryer apart, the back panel off. Yes, there isn't a video to show you how to do that, but it is really simple. Uh, you can find another video on YouTube or you can struggle through it yourself it's real easy there are about 10 screws on the back of the dryer that you remove and then the whole panel lifts right off so now that we've got this all mixed up we're going to take and use the little stick here and kind of start smearing it on the back uh, there's also a little lint seal so I'm going to be careful to try not to get the JB Weld on the lint seal. Uh, not that it'll matter, but if I ever have to replace that lint seal and I just JB Welded it on there, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to remove it. So just like this. Again, we're on the back side of the dryer. We're not inside the dryer, which is uh, good because if this was inside the dryer, then you'd want to make sure it's a lot more smooth. Whereas here on the back, I'm, I'm doing it for more strength and so that the crack does not continue. So we're going to put some over here now and really just get it on there nicely. And then where there's a little bit of a hole over here, I'm going to be careful because I don't want the JB Weld dripping or seeping through into the drum of the dryer where my clothing goes. And the reason for that is I just I don't want a lot of uh, anything else that it could catch on or anything to cause any problems with that. So we'll just get a nice, try and get a nice even coat all the way down here. Okay, so there we go. We have it smeared from about here all the way down to here. 
So I did a little extra area that wasn't cracked, but that's okay because I want there to be strength and I do not want that crack to spread at all. So I've coated it with the JB Weld. Now this will set in about four to six hours and it will be completely cured in 15 hours, but it will reach its maximum strength after 24 hours. So let this cure for four to six hours. It's gonna set, it'll cure in 15, and then 24 hours later is when it has achieved its potential and you can put the dryer back together and start using it. So there we go, that is it. That is how to fix a crack or hole in a dryer drum. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for other videos, like and share this video to help save people money if they have a problem with their dryer drum.